Captain Ollie Clark from 2-4 Commando Engineer Regiment, based at Chivener in Devon, is being assessed at Headley Court for his knee problems. He has a condition called tendinopathy. In short, an acute tendon injury to his knee, accompanied by inflammation, which causes joint pain and limits mobility. It's often called jumper's knee. In the military, because of the impact they put on their joints through things like parachute jumping or tabbing across country carrying heavy loads, suffer from it more than most. We actually have over about 2,000 lower limb tendinopathies per year. So in the context of a, of a service of, of around about 160,000 personnel, that's quite a lot higher than the background population. Here at Headley Court's Academic Department of Rehabilitation, a project is underway in conjunction with the University of Loughborough to try and improve the treatment of tendinopathy, which also affects ankle tendons. It involves giving an injection into the tendon, as Dr Polly Baker explains. It's thickened in its diameter and it's also got blood vessels that are growing from the fat pad just below. So you can see this box here is a Doppler signal and it's showing vessel growth into the tendon. So if I looked at a normal tendon, you wouldn't see vessels within it. This is important because this is exactly what the um, injection is targeting. They all relate to specific landmarks. Okay. In a treatment room, Captain Smith is being prepared for a special procedure to accurately assess his tendon problems. This is what's been put all over Ollie's body, some 48 of them. They're called retro-reflective markers, and they'll be picked up by these near-infrared cameras that are all around the room. It's just like the motion capture technology that's used in Hollywood. Just remember what we're looking for is that you keep your heel um, pressure down through your heel, keep your pelvis level, Keep your torso nice and upright for us. Yeah. This is just a demonstration for us. Ollie had it done for real yesterday. His movement is captured by computer and an exact representation is generated by that system. It's a state-of-the-art way of understanding what's going on with his knee. But the innovative part of this project is actually the injection, which the captain is about to have. It's a control trial. In essence, some get the real injection, some don't. That way it can be accurately assessed if it has any real positive benefit. It's in peaks and troughs, so it's a frustrating injury that's not, not visible, so, um, and it tends to be swept under the carpet. I've, I've tended to do that myself, so um, understanding it is tricky um, and a means of having a, a treatment that will hopefully nip it in the bud quickly will be um, well, fantastic for the service and fantastic for individuals. Yeah. We can't shy away from it. We need to be at the cutting edge of being able to deliver the, the best rehabilitation and the best treatments we possibly can so we can get people back uh, fu fully, fully fit, fully deployable, uh, doing the jobs that they came in to do. And Ollie and the other volunteers on this project could be instrumental in helping to improve the chances of recovery from tendinopathy for their peers. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Headley Court in Surrey.